Good evening and welcome to another edition of Inside the Scriptures. Hallelujah. We are so glad that you decided to join us tonight. It's raining on the outside and it's a nasty night. I told Bishop on the way over, I said, it's going to be nasty out here tonight. But on the inside, we are yet giving God glory for all of his goodness, his grace, his mercy, and his favor towards us. And we are so thankful that we have this opportunity to share in his word. And we're thankful that you decided that you wanted to share in his word with us. So we're going to ask you to get ready to join us inside the scriptures. I am Pastor Barbara Carnegie. I'm here with the panel on tonight. They are going to come and greet you. And after they greet you, we are going to come back and dive into the word. While they are doing their greetings, go ahead and like and share. Be ready to comment, get your Bibles, get your pens, get your pads, whatever you need to do to communicate with us and to stay in tune. Go ahead and get ready. Bishop Carnegie. Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It's, it's another Tuesday night. And we are glad and we're honored. We honor God and we give God glory. And we thank God for each one of you um, for joining us on tonight. And um, it, it is a messy night on the outside. So um, we hope that you are home and warm and um, safe. And you can just kick your shoes off, get your hot chocolate, get your coffee, get your hot tea. And let's get in the word of God on tonight. Um, what's on the inside of us is greater than what's going on on the outside. Praise the Lord. We thank God for another day, another opportunity to study and, and read his word and get understanding and knowledge. Um, I thank God for um, just the, the opportunity to be here on tonight and to um, help teach the word of God. Um, indeed, it's a privilege. Thank God for the panel and for each of one of you joining us live tonight. Be sure, be sure to share it with someone and help us spread the word of Jesus Christ. Amen. Minister Brewington. Good evening, everyone. I thank God for my being here tonight. I thank God for all of you that are joining us. And uh, I thank God for another opportunity for us to come together and share in his word. And I hope you all will follow along with us and join in with us. And let's have a good time in the Word tonight. Amen. Amen. Sounds like our uh, panel are ready. Are you ready is the question. We are getting ready to dive in. Again, we're in the book of Second Peter. We're on the second chapter, and we left off last week with the 13th verse. And we are going to start right there tonight with verse 13. All right, panel, we ready for discussion? We're ready. Amen. Amen. Uh, verse 13 reads, And will receive the wages of unrighteousness, as though who count it pleasure to carouse in the daytime. They are spots and blemishes, carousing in their own deceptions while they feast with you. I'm going to read it in the Amplified Version also. Suffering wrong destined for punishment. As the wages of doing wrong, they count it a delight to revel in the daytime. Living luxuriously, they are stains and blemishes on mankind. Reveling in their deceptions, even as they feast with you. Uh, Elder Branch, give us a recap of what we discussed about that uh, scripture last week. Uh, well, we have been talking about um the behavior of false prophets um mm -hmm. we've been talking about uh this is kind of taking us to what their reward is going to be mm -hmm. you know for for their unrighteousness and, mm -hmm. and false teaching and uh we've been discussing that it's important to be careful of that um to make sure that um you have the discernment to know when someone is uh, not properly teaching the word of God mm -hmm. and, and deceiving you. Um, and that's, you know, the importance of studying God's word. And, and it went into talking about understanding 
you know, it's important that we get an understanding with, with uh, our reading, with our studying, get an understanding. And, um, you know, be careful of when you're invited into these private groups and private teachings and mm -hmm. private studies. Because if, if it can't be done in public, <laughs> then why is it necessary that it's done in private? That means you're trying not, something is trying to be hidden. Mm -hmm. You know, checking the motives. So we, we've been on the subject of, um, you know, just the, the false teachings and false prophets, false teachers of the word of God and um, getting an understanding of how we can avoid that. Amen. Amen. Did anyone else want to add any comments to verse 13 before we go on to 14? Um, Pastor, I would just say um, one of the things that that scripture um, said is that they, they are destined mm -hmm. for punishment. Mm -hmm. You know, um, that's um, like, that's where they're headed. Mm -hmm. You know, that's going to be their end result. Amen. You know, destined. In, in other words, um, don't think for one moment that um, those who do such things are going to get away with it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're not. They are destined. They are headed for destruction. Mm -hmm. The Bible, the Bible says there is a way that seemeth right. That seemeth right. But the end thereof is death mm -hmm. and destruction. You know, so the, those who do such things openly, it talks about that in that verse. Openly, there there are spots and blemishes mm -hmm. against mankind. Mm -hmm. You know they are destined. You know we, we we none of us. You know we don't know the future, but there are some things that, that we can know mm -hmm. about the future. If we live ungodly, if we participate in ungodliness, and this becomes our way of life without repentance. We are destined mm -hmm. for punishment. Amen. You know, that, that, that's what it's saying. Mm -hmm. That's what it, it means. That's what it says to us is that um, doing such things will not go without being punished. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Any other comments? All right, let's go on to verse 14. It says... My glasses got water on them when we were coming in. Having eyes full of adultery and that cannot cease from sin, enticing unstable souls, they have a heart trained in covetous practices and are accursed children. The Amplified Version says they have eyes full of adultery constantly looking for sin, enticing and luring away unstable souls. Having hearts trained in greed, they are children of a curse. This scripture says a whole lot. You know, these false teachers and pro false prophets, they're, they, one of the commentaries that I read on um, this where it says they have eyes full of adultery constantly looking for sin, uh, enticing and alluring away unstable souls. One of the commentaries I read on this is that um, these false teachers and uh, false prophets were uh, anytime they see a woman the, the thought comes to their mind. The only thing they look at when they see a woman is uh, having sex with her. And so they are looking for women that they can, uh, that they think is an easy target. Weak. Right. Mm -hmm. what, weak. I, w I was wondering why it used the word adultery. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was like, why use that word, you know, uh, adultery? And, and that's why. Mm -hmm. that's, that's exactly why. Their eyes are full of adultery. When they see a woman, that's, that's, that's what they're looking for. Mm -hmm. And uh, how, how, 
how do you get in the more I, I read this this book of second Peter I, I'm having a hard time figuring out how you get in a state now the these people were once walking with God. These false prophets and false teachers were once walking with God. And then they all of a sudden started walking away from God. How do you get to the point where you're at this state to where your eyes are full of adultery? How do you get to this point? You looking for sin. You looking for sin. Who walks around every day looking for sin? <laughs> you know, I'm looking to try to keep myself out of sin. Right. Mm -hmm. right. How do you get to this state, Bishop? Uh, that's good. Well, the thing about um, sin, sin multiplies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and go, it starts out small. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it, it starts out. Um, you know, it, get, it works its way into our life, mm -hmm. and, and it's, it's small. You know, you might say, well, I'm j I just drink every now and then. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a hobby. But then you start drinking a little more, and then a little more, and then a little more. And before you know it, you're drinking every day. Mm. And um, then before you know it, you got to have it when you get up in the morning. Mm -hmm. You gotta have it at midday. You gotta have it in the evening. You gotta have a drink at night. So what starts small, you know, we don't start out like that. Right, amen. But, but that's what happens when sin gets a stronghold mm -hmm. in our life. If we don't repent of our sins, it continues to manifest mm -hmm. in our life. And it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, and before you know it, you'll be out of control. It will be driving you. There used to be a, 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 a song that we sung in the church about don't let him ride. Because mm -hmm. if you let him ride, he'll want to drive. He'll want to drive. You'll be in the back seat, mm -hmm. and, and, and sin will be driving. Mm -hmm. Where you going, sin? Looking for more sin. It just multiplies. Mm. It, it, it grows and it grows. It, it won't stop. Sin is not going to be satisfied mm. until it has eaten you up, taken you to the destruction, a destructive end. Mm -hmm. That's what sin wants for every one of us. That's why it's so important that we confess our sins and repent of our sins so that God, who is faithful and just, Forgive us of our sins. Mm -hmm. Because if we just let it grow, it'll, it'll be out of control. Mm -hmm. You'll always be looking for sin. Always be looking for sin. And, it, and this scripture said they are constantly Con looking. That's what it said. Constantly, all the time, mm -hmm. looking for sin. Mm -hmm. And trying to entice or lure away the, the weak people in the church mm -hmm. to go along with their sin. Absolutely. You know, and that's that, that's just like the devil, Absolutely. just like him. Absolutely. You know, but we we have to be wise enough and have enough discernment to where we ought to be able to figure out what the enemy is doing. Yeah. Amen. You know, uh, and, and the thing is, Pastor, when when it gets like that, um, and 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 I, I'm I'm certainly talking from a, a man's, mm -hmm. you know, perspective. I'll never be able to just be friends with a uh, with the opposite sex. Mm -hmm. I, we we I've always got an, an ulterior motive. Mm -hmm. If I if I just speak to you, I got an ulterior motive. Mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. speaking and blinking at the same time. Uh -huh. I'm I'm I, 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 there's no such thing as friendship. Mm -hmm. There's no such thing as as a friendly hug. I got something else on my mm -hmm. mind. All the time. All the time. All the time. If I'm just shaking your hand, I'm, I'm, I'm looking, seeing if you looking mm -hmm. back mm -hmm. at me. If you're looking at me right in the eye, I'm trying to make eye Good morning. Always. Mm -hmm. Always looking for sin. Mm -hmm. Can't be friends with nobody. I, there ain't no such thing as come to the birthday dinner. Oh, it's going to be something going on. I got something on my mind. Mm -hmm. That's that's what it's been. 
That's what it means. But now, you know, these, these uh, prophets and teachers were so perverse in their thinking, they weren't just looking at women in that kind of way. Right. They were looking at both men and women. Mm. I told you the Bible is relevant. Yes. <laughs> it's, it, I mean, it, it puts such a, it just puts such a stain, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. such a stain on, on what the church really stands for. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because th this is what we stand against. Right. But Amen. these are teachers of the word, mm -hmm. supposed mm -hmm. to be. Mm -hmm. Preachers, mm -hmm. prophets. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and so it, it puts such a terrible stain. Mm -hmm. And it is so relevant to today. Yeah. Because you see it in today's church. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see the prowling um, of unstable. It's so important that men and women of the body of Christ are stable. Mm -hmm. That Amen. we have stability in the mind. Mm -hmm. we, we have stability in our faith, glory, because this, this happens. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This happens Amen. today, in today's time. It does. 2022, mm -hmm. this happens. Amen. Where people are taken advantage of, mm -hmm. they are manipulated, and, and they are used and misused. Absolutely. Because of Absolutely. the manipulation mm -hmm. from those who are supposed to be leaders. Mm -hmm. And, and the, there is no such thing as sacred. Mm. They, and nothing right. is sacred mm -hmm. to a person like this. Right. Okay, you can be, you can have, even do an altar call. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have to, you got to be careful who you let work around the altar. That's true. Amen. Everybody Amen. can't be up there catching folk. Mm -hmm. You be done fell back in the wrong arms. Mm -hmm. Okay, everybody can't be up there catching people. Amen. Trying to l let them know. You be done fell right back in the wrong arm mm -hmm. if you're not careful. Because to that person, nothing is sacred. Mm -hmm. You in the spirit. Amen. You know, you want to lay back, you want to lay in the floor. But you got to know who arms you about to lay in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amen. I see Minister Bruinton keep trying to get in over there. <laughs> and we, we, we're not giving her way in. Go ahead, Minister Bruinton. I was going to say, that's why... I we have to be so careful mm. about when we go to church. We mm. can't put all our faith and trust in that leader, mm -hmm. that pastor, mm -hmm. yeah. or whoever. We have to make sure that we're trusting God. That's right. Because, you know, you can easily be deceived by man if you just bank on every word that mm -hmm. you yeah. say. Mm -hmm. Not That's saying true. that, you know, all leaders are bad not saying that all leaders are good you just have to make sure your faith and trust is in is in god that's right and you can know the word for yourself mm -hmm. because that's how so many people are deceived i've you know known people you know they go to church or whatever but they just believe in and everything that pastor says mm -hmm. whether it's in the bible or not mm -hmm. and that's how they get caught up right. amen and you have to be careful about that and, you know, my question uh, with this is, you know, they say they're looking for um, to lure away the unstable souls. Mm -hmm. My question at, when I read that was, well, were, did they ever have a firm foundation? Did, did they ever get, a, you know, get themselves grounded? You know, because mm -hmm. once you get grounded and, and you in, in the word of God, you become stable. So my question was, were they ever grounded in the first place mm -hmm. if they're so easily enticed, if they're so easily lured away? Did they ever have the grounding? Mm -hmm. I think in most instances, especially like in today's time, a lot of them don't. And mm -hmm. that's why mm -hmm. it's like uh, the people in the church, they it's like they know a new convert. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're seeking for the new convert because they know they haven't had time mm -hmm. to be grounded. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So those are the ones that they're mainly looking for when, you know, these false teachers and false prophets because they know it's easy mm -hmm. to, you know, to grab hold of them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, new converts, they're thirsty. Mm -hmm. You know, they're looking for, you know, what they need. And like I said, if they're not putting all their faith and trust in God and they're trusting, you know, this 
person in the congregation that they think mm -hmm. is helping them, they can easily be, you know, mm -hmm. strayed away. Amen. Amen. You know, and the other part of this verse says they had they had hearts that were trained in greed. Yep. Trained in greed. And and you know, thinking about that, it wasn't enough for them to just um find one or two weak links. Mm -hmm. They were out to find every weak link they could find. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, this finding one just mo wanted made them want another one mm -hmm. and another one and another one because their hearts were greedy. Mm -hmm. You know, they weren't just satisfied uh, with luring one or two people away from the faith. They wanted all that they could get. So they set out to wreak havoc on the church. Mm -hmm. You know, that was what they, their ultimate goal was, was to wreak havoc on the church. Mm -hmm. um, any more comments on verse 14? Amen. All right, let's go on to verse 15. 15 says, they have forsaken the right way mm -hmm. and have and gone astray following the way of Balaam, the son of Beor, who loved the wages of unrighteousness. The, in, the Amplified Version says, abandoning the straight road, that is the right way to live. They have gone astray. They have followed the way of the false teacher, Balaam, the son of Beor, who loved the reward of the wicked. How can you love a reward of wickedness? Because the reward of wickedness is the riches of the world. Right. Right. <laughs> but your ultimate reward right. will be death and destruction. Will be death and destruction. But, but we people want to live and have everything now. Mm. But when we have everything in this life, we end up with nothing most of the time in the afterlife, mm -hmm. you know. So it, is it better to, it's better to make sacrifices now and have everything later mm -hmm. in the kingdom of God than to have everything now and end up with nothing later, mm -hmm. you know. But, but most people, don't think of it or see it that way. The, the word says, what does it profit a man? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To gain the whole world. That's what it says. And lose his soul. Lose mm -hmm. your soul. Where's yeah. your profit? Right, right. You're really not profiting anything when you put everything into what you can have right now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You're really not profiting anything right. because nothing that you can have right now in, in you know, the materialistic things, um, money and, and the greed of money and things of that nature, you can't take that with you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. Amen. You can't take it with you. Mm -hmm. not when you go on, somebody else going to enjoy it. Not if you're in my family. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. It's not going with you. Amen. <laughs> Bishop Amen. said you ain't putting nothing in that casting. No, no. No. You, you ain't, it ain't no native people taking that. No. <laughs> no. But that's, that's, where we, that's where we get it mixed up because we, we get caught up into, um, you know, what will make us the most money right now. Mm -hmm. Right now. Mm -hmm. what, what, what's going to what's gonna take me from making $18 an hour to $25 an hour right mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. right. And I, I'll do that because I need that kind of money right now. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter what I have to sacrifice, what I have to give up. It doesn't matter if I'm going to start missing church and I can't hear the word and I can't go to Bible study. Right. It doesn't right. matter That's right. if it goes against my morals and my values. That's uh -huh. it. That's it doesn't it. matter if, if God I gotta needs hurt to hurt somebody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, so we, we, want, we want it right now. Mm -hmm. And so we, we're willing to do all of the wrong to have everything we want right now, mm -hmm. right now. when it profit us nothing. That's no right. No you know, uh, Bishop and I were talking about um, the basketball coach today. 
Carolina basketball coach. Yes, yes. And I said to him, um, I said to him, you know, the good thing about um, watching Hubert Davis coach is he waited his turn. Amen. They were they were um, talking about on television how many bonuses he got over this, you know, these tournaments. Mm -hmm. And I said, the good thing about him, I said, I'm so excited for him and so happy for him because he waited his turn. He did it the right way. He worked his, his way up the ranks. Mm -hmm. You know, he didn't, he didn't go to quick, fast, and a hurry, you know, stabbing people in the back to get to where he wanted to be and, you know, all of that. If he did, I thank God I didn't see it, you know. Mm -hmm. But, and, and, you know, he talks about his faith. He do. He so, do. you know, and, and, you know, that lets you know that he depended on his faith to get him mm -hmm. to, to where he is today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, but most of us are not willing to wait on the Lord. Oh, Lord. We're not willing to wait to, to let God prosper us. We're not willing to wait our turn. We want what we want, when we want it, and we want it now. That's right. You know, but, That's right. and you know, it, I looked at all the bonuses he's got. He got a bonus at every step. Mm -hmm. And if we just wait our turn and let God advance us, he mm -hmm. gives us bonuses at every step. Amen. That's true. You know, the higher we go, the more bonuses we get. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. That just made me happy. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. it just waiting on the Lord to advance us, mm -hmm. to elevate us, mm -hmm. is priceless. Yeah. 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 And Pastor, um, it mentioned Balaam mm -hmm. in that verse of scripture. Mm -hmm. And um Balaam was a prophet of God. Mm -hmm. He he was he was a he from started what out we being a prophet reading about him in um the what is it in numbers and maybe mm -hmm. a couple of other places no. where it talks about Balaam um he 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 was a prophet mm -hmm. he was a prophet um and but he started mixing his prophecy mm -hmm. with um some soothe saying some fortune telling um and fortune telling mm -hmm. and um I'm wanting to put curses on people. Mm -hmm. um, they they came and offered him money right. to Amen. curse um, Israel mm -hmm. and and things. And so um, the law of money, he he left the pathways of righteousness. Mm -hmm. You see, and sometimes the law of um, you know the, the Bible says what the love of money mm -hmm. is the root of all evil. You know, and it lured him away from God. And and there sometimes, oftentimes, should I say, the law of money pulls us away from God. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know, Elder Amen. was talking about, you know, what shall we profit if we gain the whole world? Mm -hmm. You know. But um that 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 messed him up. That's right. It messed up Balaam's walk with God. Because he got to doing all these other things. You know, some, you got to be careful with your gift. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. You know, if you can prophesy, you you don't have to get $500 to prophesy. That's right. If, That's if, right. You, if, if God give you a word, get up and give the word. Mm -hmm. You know, make sure you, you know, um, get permission from the head of the house and give the word. You you ain't got to take up an offering to, to prophesy. That's right. Amen. I ain't got to hold no prayer line or, or uh, y'all bring me 25 people bring me three hundred dollars mm -hmm. then i'm gonna tell you what god said yeah, did god tell you to charge me for it he said freely i i i give and freely mm -hmm. you go give it that's right you know uh, balaam got, fell in love with that silver and gold mm -hmm. and it messed him up it drew him away the, the bible said we strayed away Isaiah said, we've all gone astray. We like sheep mm -hmm. have gone astray. Amen. You know, we, we get away. And, and, and the thing is, with straying away, we don't stray away overnight. That's right. But we stray away a little bit at the time. Mm -hmm. A little bit more next week. And a little bit more the week after that. Mm -hmm. And then it becomes months. And then the months turn into years. And all of a sudden, you look around. And you can't even see the cross. Mm -hmm. That's right. 
you, you can no longer see the cross, mm -hmm. you know, because you've strayed so far away from God, you know. And, and that's what the devil um, does to us. He, he lords us away mm -hmm. slowly, you know. This, this is what the, these um, false prophets were so good at. They didn't just come and grab them and say, come on, mm -hmm. but they lured them slowly, you know, and, and just kept talking. Mm -hmm. Now, you, you got to know these folk can, can talk, and they smooth with it. Mm -hmm. They smooth talkers, you know. They, they'll, they'll mix you a glass of Kool-Aid, and they be just stirring. Mm -hmm. They be just stirring. Let me stir that a little more. They get that drink ready for you. And it slowly lords you right on out of the church, mm -hmm. right on out. And, that, and, and so I, I wanted to make that point about Balaam and how he was um, lured away with silver and gold. They offered him money. Mm -hmm. You know, you you your gift for this. Can't you see something in my hand? Yeah, that you need to wash it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But that's what you know, folk want you to use your gift mm -hmm. to entertain them. That's right. Them. Entertainment. Want, want you to entertain them mm -hmm. with, with your gift. You got to be careful with the gift that God has given you. Mm -hmm. If God has given you the gift to preach, preach. Mm -hmm. Preach to the cows come home. That's right. Preach to the paint peel off the mm -hmm. wall. But preach it and don't become contaminated by their money. Mm-hmm. If they pay you, say thank you and get on out of there. And if, if they, they don't, don't pay you, you say, thank, say you thank you and get you. on out of That's there. That's right. Amen. Amen. You know, and, and, and I'm, I know I'm about to uh, open a can of worms when I say this. You know, I get so, I don't even know what the word is for it, but it bothers me when I hear um, all of these enormous amounts of honorariums people are asking for to come to your church to preach. Mm -hmm. It just bothers me. You know, you can't go across town and come over here if I ain't going to pay you a certain amount of dollars. Mm. You just cross town. Just cross town. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, it, that bothers me. You know, but that that's that's part of that lore. Mm -hmm. You know, somebody paid me a hundred dollars one time. I don't see why I can't charge now. Well, somebody paid me two hundred fifty dollars. Oh, girl, I can charge now. I done got in the two hundred fifty dollar range. <laughs> so I can, I'm gonna come up. I'm, instead of say I'm gonna charge you, I'm gonna use the fancy term honorarium. Mm -hmm. I'm, gonna, I'm this this is my honorarium for me to come. But that's nothing you know but but a lure you know I, I got the picture in my mind when Bishop was talking of a fisherman mm -hmm. when they go fishing they put a lure on a hook mm. and they throw it out in the water for that fish to find it mm. and the more they the fish start swimming around they start pulling it back to the shore that's right Fish come up closer to it, they pull it back again. Until they get to fish to where the fish will bite it, and they pull them out of the water. Amen. That's how easily you can be allured away from the church mm -hmm. if you're not rooted and grounded in the word of the Lord. Amen. That's Amen. how easily it happens. What you, yeah. Sunday you come in here, you sitting on the front. The next Sunday, because you didn't you didn't seen the lure. You about three rows back. Mm -hmm. Then the next Sunday, you on the back row. <laughs> and then the next Sunday, you ain't nowhere to be found. Because you done been lured and snatched away. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's how easily that happens. Amen. And Pastor, many of the lures, lures, lures that they use are shiny. Mm -hmm. they, they, right. You know, some of them glow. Mm -hmm. They sparkle, you know. That that's to get the fish's attention, mm -hmm. you know. Then the fish start looking at the Lord and following after it, and like you say, they're slowly reeling it right on back to the shore. Mm -hmm. They stop, let the fish catch up, then they move it again. Mm -hmm. And sooner or later, that fish bite. That fish gonna bite. And then the hook is to grab the fish, 
Now you got him. Mm -hmm. You got him. You see, what I always say is once that devil gets you to that back seat, he mm -hmm. ready to grab you by the back of your collar. That's right. And pull you right on out that door. Mm -hmm. And take you right on back to where you come from. Mm -hmm. And drop Amen. you off. And drop you off. And then you don't know what in the world happened. Mm -hmm. How did I get here? Amen. Any other comments on that verse of scripture? All right, we're going on to verse 16. 16 says, But he was rebuked for his, minist for his iniquity. A dumb donkey speaking with a man's voice restrained the madness of the prophet. The Amplified Version says, But he was re rebuked for his own transgressions. A mute donkey spoke with a man's voice and restrained the prophet's madness. Mm -hmm. The prophet done went mad, y'all. <laughs> and even the donkey could see it. Uh, he done went mad. Mr. Bronte, what do you think about the mad prophet? I don't know what to think about it. But even though he went mad, he was so mad to the point. That he didn't even know the donkey was talking to. Him. That's right. I Amen. I not hear him what he was saying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He had to be pretty mad. Mm -hmm. That's right. He, you know, mm -hmm. he was just, his head was, his mind was just gone. Mm -hmm. He, There was no turning back for him. You know, and, and, and so it is when we are um, caught and, and lured away. We, you know, we lose our focus. We right. we don't see clearly. Right. We don't hear clearly. That's right. You know, and and mm. and you know, it's it's just so important that we stay firm in what we believe. Mm. We stay firm in our faith and stop listening to every little wind and doctrine that comes by, because mm. every wind and doctrine is the is not the right wind and doctrine. Mm. Elder Branch, what do you add to that verse of scripture? Well, I, I was I was looking at um, the story mm -hmm. in Numbers, <laughs> and um, I, it it is very interesting actually. Like, I, I think because God got mad at Balaam, he was right. mad at Balaam, right. and, and I think the reason why God got mad at him was because he, he even though he said out out of his mouth, I can only say what God tells me. He was already being lured away. That's mm. right. Amen. Mm. In his mind. Mm -hmm. Right. In his mind, right. he was already being lured away mm -hmm. and, and was went with them. You know, God said, all right, go ahead. Mm -hmm. You know, came to me. This is the second time now. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and go. Mm -hmm. And God got mad at him and stopped him on his way. Stopped mm -hmm. him. You should have never thought. You should have never entertained the thought to curse somebody else. Right. Somebody Amen. else came to you and said, curse them. Mm -hmm. God didn't tell you that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You should have never even entertained it from the beginning. Amen. That's where we get caught. Mm -hmm. In the entertainment of it. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's in it. the entertainment of the thought. And and we're lured. He's he's being lured with money, with riches. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And in that story now, he's riding on the donkey. On yeah. the donkey. You exactly. know, when they get to a point in the road, the donkey just stops. Yeah. Stop. Because he sees that the, the angel there with the sword. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, and the donkey got sense enough to see the angel with the sword, but, but Balaam don't. Balaam didn't see it. Balaam didn't see he it. was so focused on Amen. doing, money that doing other things right. that he couldn't see exactly. what was right in front of him. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But that, that, that donkey saw that that the, the man it was standing there in the form of a man mm -hmm. um, with the sword. Mm -hmm. The donkey saw because our vision gets extorted. That's yeah. right. When yeah. we lose our our focus on God mm -hmm. and what God is telling us to do. Um and and and, and I, I missed it a few verses ago. I missed it a, um, it talked about covetousness. Mm -hmm. yes. And and the yes. Bible says, beware of covetousness mm -hmm. because a man's life does not consist of the things he possesses. That's right. Amen. Okay? 
Beware of covetousness. Mm -hmm. Somebody, covetousness is greediness. Right. Mm -hmm. Being Just greedy. always getting. Mm -hmm. I want, I, I, I want, want more. I want. Mm -hmm. I, I don't, they ain't thankful. They're not grateful. All they want is more. Mm -hmm. And when the prophet, when the preacher, when the bishop, when the pastor, when the apostle mm -hmm. becomes um, filled with covetousness, you cannot satisfy them with nothing. That's my, right. My, my. Amen. I don't care Amen. how many cars with gold rims you buy. They want more. Mm -hmm. They want. They don't want. They ain't satisfied with the BMW. They ain't said what what, what y'all call it the Beamer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> the, the grandchildren say the Beamer. Mm -hmm. um, um, the um, the the Lexus, the Cadillac. Why do you need eight cars mm. when you can't drive but one at the time? One at the time. And why can't you and your wife ride to church together? Mm. That's, in a, one that's a car. can of worms, Bishop. That's a can of worms. Can oh, of worms. oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I'm, I, I, it's, it's covetousness. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Just won't, 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 you know. And, 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 and we lose focus. Mm -hmm. Balaam had lost, lost focus. focus. Mm -hmm. He had lost focus. And, and, and sometimes that's what we do. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are some things that we want in this ministry. That's right. There are some Amen. things that we want that we one day, Lord, no, we want to build. Mm -hmm. We want to build a building. But while we're trying to do that, I don't need a jet. That's right. Amen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't need a $98,000 jet. Mm -hmm. That's, you know, I, 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 I know some of these great ministries have them, but you know, I, I don't want to lose focus. That's right. Amen. We, we lose focus on with ministry because we forget the message. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's more about preaching the gospel. Amen. And Amen. winning souls for Christ. Mm -hmm. You know, but, but, some, but money can make you lose focus. Yes. Money can, can, can ruin your ministry. It can ruin your gift. I, 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 now, you know, I, I used to be, you know, in my younger days, I, I, I'd done a lot of revivals, done a lot of revivals. And sometimes I'd have a revival on my, on my book, say the first week of August. Mm -hmm. It's already booked. I got something. Somebody called me and say, um, Pastor Carnegie, can you come do revival for us? We'll pay you this amount. But I already got something on my book. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, not sometimes, Pastor, Pastor Bob, I got off of good money mm -hmm. to go do that revival. You know, so it, it might be a church I already been to. That church might average paying me three hundred dollars mm -hmm. for for the for that week. I, I already got it booked. Somebody called me and say, "We'll pay you a thousand dollars." What you gonna do? Do the math. Do the math. <laughs> yeah. Do the math. I'm looking at y'all. I'm telling y'all, do the math. That's seven hundred dollars more. Uh huh. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. But I'm committed. Mm hmm I've already committed. I I, I gotta say, I'm I'm sorry. First of all, I never ask about pay. That's right. When somebody called me. Mm hmm Never. I, after forty some years of preaching. I've never asked about pay. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, I try to discourage. If I can catch them before they get to that, I just say that's up to the, to you, your pastor, mm -hmm. whoever. I'm not. I, I, I don't even want to talk about that mm -hmm. because if something is already on my book, I'm not gonna change it. That's right. Amen. I don't care what you say. Mm -hmm. So I don't really need to know. Mm -hmm. My my calendar is not open. I don't need to know what you pay mm -hmm. because. I don't care if they're going to pay me 100 or, or 900 I'm not changing it. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to be swayed by what you pay. Right. Can't do it. We can't do it. We cannot can't let money right. ruin Amen. us. Mm -hmm.
because it can ruin your ministry. Mm -hmm. Amen. And unfortunately, uh, this is what's going on with Balaam. Yeah. You know, he's being ruined by, you know, all the, the things that these people are throwing at him to do what they want him to do instead of mm -hmm. what God wants him to do. Do what right. we want you to do. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm. And, you know, I, I think that uh, covetedness is actually one of those sins that can really kind of come in in a very hidden way. Mm -hmm. you, 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 you can be, your, your sin, you can acknowledge what your sin is and, and covetedness will be sitting right there beside it. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah. It'll sneak in on you. Yeah. Because you, you'll be desiring something in an excessive way and not realizing that you 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 done stepped over into covetedness. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. That that's that's something that God revealed to me mm -hmm. uh, about something that I was doing wrong. And I, I had to repent and I didn't know I didn't even know Mm. that I had committed that sin. Mm -hmm. mm. I had to repent for that because yeah. once God revealed to me, I was like, oh, oh, wow. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, let me, Father, in the name of Jesus. Right. Uh -huh. I didn't even know. It came in in a very hidden way. Mm -hmm. And that that's one, of the, you have to be aware, stable, stability mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> in your faith. Amen. So that things like this can't sneak up on you. Mm -hmm. Right. So you cannot, be lured away by, by riches, mm. by wealth, by greed. Right. And and one one sin, it's a domino effect sometimes. Domino effect. It'll mm -hmm. take you from one to the next. That's right. And right on down the line. Mm -hmm. And that's that's really what's going on with the false teachers and preachers Amen. we're talking about. Amen. Mm -hmm. They just doing one sin after the other. Mm -hmm. That's what it is with covetedness. It, it can start off with just that, but it's going to lead you into a lot of other Lead things. That's what right. happened with King David. Right. That's right. When he, you know, fled with Bathsheba, it mm -hmm. led him to murder. That's mm -hmm. right. All this stuff. Yes. Right. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And really, that was Hallelujah. the root cause, but Hallelujah. look mm -hmm. what else came about from that. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And, 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 and that's such a good point. He already had 800 right. wives. Mm -hmm. And... and 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 so many hundred concubines, mm -hmm. and then wanted Bathsheba. Yep. The lure of greed. You ain't even seen all the all the eight hundred you got, mm -hmm. and then right. wanting another one. The more you got, the more you want. My goodness. Greed. Th that, that, mm -hmm. that, 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 that's a perfect example. Amen. A Amen. perfect example. You know. But you know what? What was interesting about this uh, verse of scripture? It said, uh, with a man's voice, the donkey restrained the prophet's madness. <laughs> it took a donkey. And that ain't, you know, in other commentaries, that ain't the word they use. Right, right. But I, I, I'm not, I'm not going to say it. <laughs> Y'all know what a donkey is, King right? King James Version right. said it a different way. Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> it took a it's donkey. In there. It's in there. Woo. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. It took a donkey mm -hmm. to to res restrain mm -hmm. Balaam's madness. Mm -hmm. And and the fact that another good word for that, the, the donkey re the donkey rebuked him. Yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hello. Mm -hmm. Now now how sad is it? When I'm supposed to be the man of God, right. the bishop, mm -hmm. and the sinner mm -hmm. got to rebuke me. Mm -hmm. What That's you right. doing in here, Wh bishop? Exactly. Mm -hmm. You is in the ABC store. Mm -hmm. I come in here to get my little brown bag. <laughs> <laughs> and here you standing up here at the counter. <laughs> right. I'm the bishop. But God had to use a sinner to rebuke me. Yeah. Mm -mm. My God. I want to say that word so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Not just a sinner, but but a donkey. A donkey. You better watch out. Your dog about to start talking. Mm -mm. <laughs> Baby, look. My you going to go out there to feed, feed little Bobo? And Bobo was like, I saw what you done. Uh -huh. <laughs> But look, my Bible says a dumb donkey. Uh, that's yeah. right. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. That's right. Dumb. Mm -hmm. Hello. 
Hello. That little so wow wow gonna go talk to you. <laughs> but that shows you how far gone yes. you can get lost yes. in your sin. Mm. How far out there you can get in your sin. How mm. far south you can go. Mm. Yeah. And and again, I want to go back to the fact that God told him to go ahead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but he told him to go because he was already determined to go. To he go. was determined to, to go. go. He had mm -hmm. already made up in his mind he was going. Mm -hmm. God said, go ahead, bro. Mm -hmm. Go on. God ain't going to keep fighting you. He's not. He's not. He already <laughs> told you one time, right. don't go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you went back and asked him, could you go again? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. When God has already said no. You are you already telling God I want to go. That's right. I, I want to go. I want I want to go do this because mm -hmm. of what they're offering me. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. I want to go do what He's asking because of what He's offered me. Mm -hmm. You know, I've had people uh, come to me and say, uh, Pastor, you know, I know we had church today, but they were offering me some good money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Okay. So what's more important? You 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 under that lure. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're under that lure. Cause every time somebody start offering you some good money, guess what you gonna take? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. You begin right. to choose that over God. Yeah. You you yeah. have stepped over. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have stepped and, over. And Satan knows who he can buy. That's right. That's right. <laughs> mm -hmm. Satan knows if he can buy you. You, you remember, Pastor, when we were um, children, how we, we, one of the words we used to say to one another, something would happen, and the person got in bad, we'd say, cheat. Mm -hmm. A lot of us are cheap. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. And it ain't got to be good money. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. $40 ain't no good money. Come on. Amen. You should have went on to church when it made $40. Mm-hmm. You miss church. You miss the word of God. Mm, which is more valuable. God might have been ready to work a $400,000 yes, miracle yes, in your yes. life. Mm -hmm. And you was out of place. Missed it. Cheap. Mm -hmm. That's it. I'm going to try to finish up verse 17. I know we're at the, at the time <laughs> limit, but I want us to finish up verse 17, and we're going to stop right here. Any more uh, comments on verse 16 before I go to 17? All right. It says, these are wells without water. Mm -hmm. Clouds carried by a tempest for, for whom is reserved the blackness of darkness forever. Mm -hmm. And the Amplified Version says, these false teachers are springs without water mm -hmm. and mist driven by a tempest for whom is reserved the gloom of black darkness. The false teachers are springs without water. How you going to be a spring and you ain't got no water? Woo. Springs mm -hmm. without water. You know, springs carry fresh water. Mm -hmm. But but the, the stuff they are carrying is nowhere near fresh water. Mm -hmm. And then it says um, they are mist driven by a tempest. That's it. Tossed to and fro. Tossed to and fro. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And guess what the ultimate destination going to be? Mm. And I would say that that's sad, and it is, but at the same time, again, these pe were people that were once with God mm. yeah. that should have known better yeah. and did know better, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. decided to be lured away. Right, right. Amen, amen. And Pastor, you, you talk about the spring. They promise you fresh water. They promise you fresh it's water. It's going to be different. Mm -hmm. the, the, like you say, the spring, it, it's moving. Mm -hmm. It's water that's moving. Mm -hmm. and, it, and it's always refreshing itself. But So they promise you they're going to lead you to fresh water. Mm -hmm. But you know what you end up drinking from? A mud hole. That's right. Amen. They lead you to a mud hole. Mm -hmm. 
and you be miserable drinking dirty, stagnant, muddy water. Mm -hmm. Amen. But by the time you get to that, it's often too late to turn back. Mm -hmm. You see, the 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 um the prodigal son got lured away. Mm -hmm. He got that little inheritance, and he took off. Mm -hmm. Went far from home, and began to live a righteous life. You see, in the daytime he lived a righteous life mm -hmm. too. You see, but where did he end up at? In the pig in pen. In the pig pen. Eating the same food mm -hmm. that he had tucked down there for the pigs. That's what happens. That's where it will always end. The, 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 the broad road filled with travelers. Mm -hmm. People everywhere. And they are having a good time. But it ends with, with destruction. Mm -hmm. Amen. It ends with destruction. You can't have your ice cream cake and um, gummy bears too. Mm -hmm. Can't have it all in this life. Wait for the life to come. Amen. Amen. And we have to be mindful, especially of people that try to lure us away from Ooh. what we know is right. Yeah. You know, oh, if yeah. you're in a church body and you're you're getting the word of God you're growing you're progressing don't allow somebody to come whisper in your ear mm -hmm. and say girl you ought to come with me over here because mm -hmm. this is a fresh new movement we mm -hmm. doing great things they talking it up mm -hmm. real big and when you get over there they get you away from where you know you were living right mm -hmm. where you know you were getting a sound word to over there where somebody is tickling your ears and you end up in a situation where everything in your life is falling apart and then you say just like the prodigal son I need to go back home mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that's usually what happens a mm -hmm. subtle approach of luring you away from what you know is my, right my, my. Be, be aware you know there are a lot of churches you know, springing up that are fast moving, fast paced. Girl, we having a good time. We living it up over here, mm -hmm. you know. But what are you getting? If, if you're not getting the word, if you just over there having a good time, and ain't no word involved, and it ain't no sound word, mm -hmm. you better stay where you at. Now, there's a difference in the Lord telling you it's time for you to go. Mm -hmm. it's, you know, I have no problem with somebody coming to me saying, Pastor, the Lord is sending me somewhere else. I'm going to wish you farewell. You know, bid you guys speed. I'm going to pray for you while you're going. But if you're just being lured away, I'm going to cut it right there. Minister Brunton, what are your last uh, comments for tonight? I was just thinking as you was talking how, you know, a lot of people in this day and time, like you were saying, you know, they, you know, tell you you need to come over here, come over there, we having a good time. But they're looking at, you know, the shouting and the dancing mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. But you got, like you saying, you got to have the word because that's what's going to keep you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you're sitting at home going through something. You don't have that congregation in your house shouting and praising mm -hmm. the Lord. That's right. Amen. Oh, you got to know the word for yourself. That's right. You got to depend on the word, and that's mm -hmm. what's going to keep you. That's what's going to carry you through. Mm -hmm. right. Amen. And, and, and don't get us wrong. Now, ain't nothing wrong with shouting and praising the Lord. I love a, I love a good praise break. Mm -hmm. Amen. I love, I love a good praise break. Amen. You know, I can shout with the best of them until I get tired. But, you know. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that, but you, there's got to be something behind your shout. You got to be stable in the word. When, when, the, when the music is not playing, when the shouting is not going on, you got to have something to stand on. Amen. All I need is a word. All I need. Don't let me take my text, Bishop. Uh, <laughs> All I need is a word. Elder Branch, you can only take it before I start preaching. 
<laughs> um, if you want to know whether you are in uh, the presence of a false prophet, mm. all you got to do is check their well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If there is living water, a refreshing spring flowing mm -hmm. from them, mm -hmm. then you can, you can trust that. Mm -hmm. If there's nothing, if, if there's no fruit, Mm -hmm. Amen. If there's Ooh. no fruit mm -hmm. from their labor, then you need to go the other way. Mm -hmm. Amen. My, my, my. All right, Bishop, what are your final thoughts for tonight? Lord, so many things, Pastor, go through my mind about what we've tried to cover tonight. I, mm -hmm. It's just been a, 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 a refreshing spirit that has come over this panel and this room tonight. Mm -hmm. I, I, I know you feel it if you're online watching. I, I know you feel it, but I feel like somebody is trying to get back to God. You've strayed away. You've drifted. The old hymn said, um, I was sinking deep in sin. Mm. far from the peaceful shore very deeply stained within sinking to rise no yes, more God, Jesus. but the master but the master of the sea mm -hmm. heard my despairing cry and from the waters he lifted me yes God thank you now saved am I thank you Lord it was love that lifted me mm -hmm. <laughs> I, 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 I feel somebody reaching, mm. somebody crying out. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. God, I'm coming back. Bless your name, Jesus. I want to see the cross. I want to get back to a place where I can see the cross. Mm -hmm. It's almost Easter. Mm -hmm. It's almost Resurrection Sunday. And that cross is still standing on that hill. Yes, Lord. Uh, yes, Lord. Woo, glory on a hill oh, right. well well I'm going to stop I'm going to stop Bishop getting ready to start singing <laughs> far away mm -hmm. stood an old rugged, rugged cross, rugged cross. <laughs> yeah. my, my. Mm. we love you on tonight yes Lord we love Jesus. you we're getting ready to pray we're getting ready to pray I hope you already got your prayer requests in we believe in God. The blood that ran down that cross was shed for you and me. Hallelujah. It's not too late. It is not too late. The blood of Jesus whew, redeems us, cleanses us, washes us makes us whole again hallelujah do we have any prayer requests tonight uh yes um mary thomas asks that we pray for her son william winters william winters amen pastor will you pray for sister mary's son william william winters bless your name god bless your name jesus Oh, God, we come to you right now, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, yeah. Lifting up Sister Mary's son. God, we pray right now in the name of Jesus that you will allow him to have a visitation of the yeah, Holy yeah, Spirit. Yeah. That, God, you will surround him with your love. Yes. God, I don't know where he stands with you, God. But, God, you are an all-knowing God. You know the very heart. And God, I pray you, God, in the name of Jesus, you'll look upon his heart tonight. Mm. And God, I pray you'll do a makeover. Renew him, strengthen him, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, give him a clean heart and a right spirit, God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, I pray your blessings upon him, God. Oh, God, whatever is wrong, God, I pray you'll make it right. In the name of Jesus, do a work in his life, God. 
Mm. Oh, bless your name, Jesus. Mm. Oh, God, I pray in Jesus' name, God, yeah. that he'll open his ears to hear your voice, God. Hallelujah. Oh, God, give him eyes that he might see you, God. Mm. And give him a heart that he might receive you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Yes. Oh, God, I pray you'll begin to knock on the doors of his heart. Hallelujah. Oh, bless your name, God. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Oh, God, keep him, God, in your care. Mm -hmm. Build a shield of protection around him, God. When all the enemy is coming in like a flood on him, God, yes. I pray you'll yes. build up a wall of protection. Oh, God, in Jesus' name. God, I thank you. Oh, bless your name, God. Bless your name, God. Bless your name, God. All the weapons that the enemy is throwing at him to destroy, God. Yeah. Mm, God, I thank you. Oh, God, I pray you'll break every weapon. Break every attempt of the enemy. And God, make him whole. Mm. In the name of Jesus. Oh, yeah. God, let him know that you care for him and that you love Hallelujah. him beyond his mistakes. Mm, God, meet his needs. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God, I thank you and I praise you, God, and I pray for his mother, Mary. God, I pray you'll keep her steadfast, unmovable, and always oh, yes. abounding in the work of the yes, Lord. Yes. God, continue to strengthen her, build her up, God, in the name of Jesus. Continue to prosper her and, and keep her in good health, even as her souls prosper. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, God, you know as mothers, God, our children are always on our hearts. But, God, I, I pray, God, you'll give her peace that surpasses all understanding. And let her know that all is well. And in you, mm. everything is made right. Yes. In Jesus' name I pray. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We're praying for Sylvia Watkins. Who is that? Sylvia Watkins. Sylvia Watkins. Amen. Um, did she say, do you have a specific thing to pray for? Or no. To, Minister Brewington, will you pray for Sister Sylvia Watkins? Hallelujah. Bless your name, Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Oh, yes. God, we come before you, Lord, to lift up Hallelujah. Sylvia Watkins. Yes, God. Thank you, God. Father God, you know her heart, God. You know her every need. Touch her right now. In the name of Jesus. Ask God that you would be with her, Lord. Oh, yes. Touch her God, and in the name of mm. Jesus. Yes, God. Yes, God. I ask that you would just touch her, God. Touch God. In the name of Jesus. To be with her, God. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Father God, let her know that you're right there with her, God, that you will never leave her nor forsake her. Yes, Lord. God, ask that you would supply her every need. Oh, yeah. God, ask that you would turn every situation around, every situation around for her good. In the name of Jesus, Father God, I ask that you would touch her household. Yes, yes. God, I ask that you would continue to bless her going in and coming and going yes, out. Yes, God, yes, yes. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father God, whatever petition she had before you, God, I ask Thank that you. you would hear her prayer, God. Ask that you would give her an answer, God. Yes, in God. the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Father God, we ask that you would cause your Holy Spirit to visit her, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Oh, yeah. God, give her ears to hear your voice when you speak, God. Father God, touch her heart and her mind, God, in the name of Jesus. Keep her in perfect peace. God. Oh, yes, yeah. God. That the situation or circumstance won't overwhelm her. But Father God, give her comfort in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Continue to bless the Lord in Jesus' name. And God, we bind every spirit that will come against her, God. Yes, we Lord. Declare yes, that Lord. No weapon formed against her shall prosper. Yes, God. And every tongue that rises in judgment, you will condemn. Yes, Father Lord. God, we ask that you will keep your arms of protection around in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And God, we, we say thank you, Lord. God, we thank you for the victory in her life. In the yes, name of God. Jesus. Yes, God. God, we thank you for every blessing, God. And God, we give you all the glory to honor yes. and the praise. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Yes, Amen. Lord. And we have one more. Um, we're praying for Courtney Chavis. And um, I just want to say, I believe this is who you were talking about, Bishop. Come on. Who um, God is trying to draw back to the wow. cross. Um, she was on our prayer list last week. Yes. And um, after Bible study, I called her. 
Mm. Um, I called her and I told her that the Lord um, was ministering to me about her. Yeah. And I told her that the Lord said that there was an urgency that mm. she come back to Christ. Mm. Um, and that she bring her kids back to Christ. My God. And so um, I told her that we were going to continue praying for her. Yeah. Amen. Because Amen. I, I, you said that tonight, it brought her name back to my remembrance. I had forgot to even put her down. Mm. And as soon as you said that, her name popped up in my mind. My God. We, we definitely need to keep her in prayer. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Pray for her. We pray Amen. for her. Yes, Father God, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. God, we thank you for Courtney tonight. Yes, God, we thank you for her family, her children, Father God. Mm -hmm. We thank you, first God, for your divine protection over them. Yes, God. We thank you, Lord God, because you have covered them under your grace and your mercy. We thank you, Lord God, hallelujah, that you are are knocking on the door of Courtney's heart. Yes, God. Father God, and we pray that she would not harden her heart, God, to your voice. We pray, God, that she will respond to you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Father Lord. God, yes, Lord. And that she will release a yes from her soul, In Father. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We pray, God, that the, the spirit of salvation would just fall upon her heart and her mind, oh yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. We call her back to you. Woo, In the glory. name of Jesus. We call her back to you. Right Father now. God. Right Hallelujah. now, Courtney. Lord right God, now. You have need of her, Father. Yes, Hallelujah. Lord, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Father Woo, God. Glory. In the name of Jesus. In the name Hallelujah. Of Jesus. Oh God, whatever pulled her away, yes, Father God, yes. whatever took her away, God, yes. God, we pray that you will heal it. Woo. God, that you will mend it, Father God. Hallelujah. Uh-huh. Father God, that you will release her yes. Yes, God, oh God, yes, in the God, name yes, of Jesus. Hallelujah. Whatever it is, Father God, that took her away, Woo. the enemy wants to keep her bound, but God, we pray your freedom over her. In the name of in Jesus. In the mighty name of yes, Jesus. Lord. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. The blood of Jesus. Restore her. The blood of Jesus. We claim you back. We claim you back. The blood of Jesus brings her back to the cross. Yes. Yes, Hallelujah. Lord. The Hallelujah. blood of Jesus. Woo. Not over just her her God, but her children. Yes, God. The blood of Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Jesus. Every weapon that Satan has formed to discourage her, yes, to disappoint yes, her, yes, every Lord. weapon you, that Jesus. Satan has formed to keep her away, God, we, we demolish that weapon. We come against that weapon. Yes, Lord. We plead yes, the blood Lord. of yes, Jesus Lord. over that weapon, Thank Father. You. In the name in of the Jesus. Name of Hallelujah. Yes. And we pray, God, that you will mend her broken heart. Yes, yes God. That you will heal the disappointment hallelujah Hallelujah. oh god that you will cure the pain father god God, that you will you will sew up the wound right now in the name of jesus Jesus. hallelujah god i pray that she will trust you again yes Yes. glory to god I pray that she will give her whole heart to you again thank you in the name of jesus hallelujah hallelujah we call her name to you tonight courtney Courtney, yes, Courtney, yes, God, God yes, is God. calling you, Courtney. Yes. God is calling you. Hallelujah. And yes, Jesus Lord, is yes, interceding Lord, yes, on your Lord. behalf. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus is interceding. He's stepping in on your behalf. In the name Hallelujah. Of Jesus. Oh, God, we thank you for the mercy that has been extended unto her. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Oh, we yes. thank you, God, that she'll thank come you, running Lord, back. Yes, mercy, yes. She'll yes. come running name. back. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And she will come just in time. Yes, Glory God. be to God. Thank we you. thank you, God. She will come just in time. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for thank her you, life. Thank you. Thank this you. is your daughter. Hallelujah. This is your child. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 She belongs to you. Oh, and yeah. the enemy has to lose his hold. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Over her mind, over her heart, oh, Father. Oh, bless him. You bless can him, make it, him. Courtney. You can make it. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, and the Lord. Lord has extended his hand to you. Glory be to God. Thank Grab you, hold. Thank you. thank you. Grab hold to the Hallelujah. hand of the Lord. Grab hold. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. He's ready to pull you through. Oh, bless He's him. ready to pull you out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Grab hold to him. Yes, oh, yeah. Lord, Glory yes, Lord, be to yes, God. Lord. We oh, thank yeah. you, God. We give you praise for it. Thank you, We give Jesus. you praise for the praise report. Yes, We Lord. give you praise for the testimony. We give you praise for the healing. Yes. We give you praise for the deliverance, oh God. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Yes, it is God. so. Yes, God. It is so. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is so. Thank you, Lord. It is so. Victory belongs to her. My God. 
victory belongs to her house. Yes, yes, yes Lord. In yes. the name of Jesus. In the name Hallelujah. of Jesus. We thank you, God. Thank you, We Lord. thank you for the angel that you have assigned to her home. Yes, yes. Lord. To cover them. To watch over oh, yes, them. Yes, God. Yes, God. In the name of in Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I come against the trouble that the enemy has sent even mm. to her children. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Mm, thank you, Lord. Oh, God. Thank the blood you, of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Over those God. children, Love Father God. God. In, in the name, name of, Jesus. of Jesus. I pray that everything be brought right. Yes, God. Into right alignment with you. Yes, God. Yes, Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. I pray thank that you. everything be made right. Yes, Lord. And be brought into alignment with the word of God. Oh, in Jesus' name. name. In Jesus no name. weapon formed against you shall yes, prosper. Yes, Ooh. yes, yes. No weapon formed Hallelujah. against them shall prosper. Mm. In the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Discouragement got to go. Thank you, Jesus. Discouragement got to go. Hallelujah. We, we, we announce it now. Discouragement got to go. Oh, There's an exit Lord. sign for thank discouragement. You, thank you, Lord. Ooh. Hallelujah. We cast it out. Yes, God. In yes, the name God. of yes, Jesus. Yes, God. Yes, God. Amen. 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 Oh, bless God. Blessing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Father, thank we Lord. pray even for the family of the little child that passed away on this week. Yes, God. We pray for that mother yes, and all involved in that situation. Yes, God, we God. lift them up. Thank you, Jesus. We, we pray, God, that you'll... Your presence, your peace would hover over that family. Oh, bless your name, At a time God. like bless this, God, God, I pray that they would look to you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. That they turn to you at such a time as this. And I pray, God, that that, that your hand will comfort them. Mm -hmm. Dry every tear from yes, their God. eyes. Yes, God, yes, God. And God let them know that that they can look to the hill from which come their help. Thank you, Jesus. And all of that help comes from you. Yes, Lord. We pray for the grandparents and that whole family. And not only them, God, but every bereaved family. We reach out to them on tonight. Thank you, Lord. Well, oh, my God. We pray that the comforter Thank you, Lord. that only you can, can give oh, comfort them tonight. Jesus. Bless your name, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And we thank you. And God, we give you glory. In Jesus' in name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, I feel victory in this house. Yes, yes, yes. I feel like victory. Yes, Lord. Yes, is Lord. In yes, this Lord. Place. Thank you, Lord. Woo, glory. My, thank my, you, my, Jesus. my. Hallelujah. I know when I come in contact with victory. Thank you, Lord. Thank Woo, you, glory. Lord. There is victory. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Going forth from tonight. Yes, God. Hallelujah, you, hallelujah. Mm. We give God glory for another oh, bless your inside name, the scriptures on tonight. Thank you. My goodness, the word was awesome. Yes, Lord. The yes, word Lord. was awesome. Thank you, Lord. On tonight. Amen. Allow God to leave you to sow an offering on tonight. Sow an offering. Amen. So an offering on tonight, and we will thank you. God will bless you. Amen. Amen. So an offering. Don't forget, you can join us every Sunday morning right here, 2811 Lee Avenue, Sanford, mm -hmm. North Carolina, Amen. 1030. Amen. For our morning worship service, the sanctuary is open. You're welcome. You are welcome Amen. to come Amen. and worship with us. Amen. If you can't come, get online. God is doing something special yes, he is. in this place. Amen. Amen. We thank Minister Brewington on tonight, Elder Branch, Pastor Barbara. Amen. What an awesome job. Amen. Amen. These great, this great panel is doing Amen. In rightfully dividing the word of God. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And we, we just honor God and we thank God for you. Amen. We'll be back next Tuesday night. We will be back next Tuesday night. Make plans to join us for Resurrection Sunday. 
Amen. at 6 45 yes, yes. a.m. Amen. And 10 30 a.m. Resurrection Amen. Sunday is right around the corner. Amen. And you can come and be our special guest on that day. Amen. Until next week, I'm Bishop Richard Carnegie. I'm Pastor Barbara Carnegie. And we love you. But God loves you more. God, God bless, bless you. you.